Isabella Soares at APS for celebrating the month of women's history. I was looking for some women who did important things and I thought I'd find them. I just decided with her because I thought that we had a couple things in common. She was born in Germany on June 1929 into a German Jewish family. At the age of five, she studied at Montessori School like me and she also was very curious and loved a lot with other girls. Just like I had to leave Colombia at a young age, her and family had to move to another land to escape from the Nazis. Do you know who the Nazis were? They were a group of people in Germany who followed the ideas of a German leader named Adolf Hitler. When she was 11 years old, the Nazis attacked Holland, where her family lived. So they had to hide for almost two years in her father's factory, named the Secret Annex. When she was 13 years old, then her parents gave her a diary. And there, she began to write everything she lived in that small room. Her emotions, feelings, and everything that happened around her. She couldn't make any noise that meant couldn't go to the toilet or jump and couldn't go out onto the streets. The Louis had to be hidden. But in 1944, when Anne was 15 years old, the family was discovered <gasps> and they were arrested. They separated the men from the women and took them to some concentration camps, which are places where the Nazis held Jews and others. After a while, Anne and her sister Margot were separated from their mother and fell ill with the tifu, a disease caused by a bacterium, and in 1945 they died. <coughs> Only her father managed to survive, and some people that were with Anne cut the pages of her diary and gave them to her father a few years later. He managed to publish it, and millions of people read it. And those managed to understand what a person who was persecuted feels like. I. Anne Frank's diary has been published in 70 languages around the world. I hope you enjoyed learning about Anne Frank, who taught others that it doesn't matter how old you are, you can leave a mark on people forever. Thank you. Now, I'm, I'm going to. I would like to show you a place where Anne and her family had to move. Let's go. So let me go up the stairs. Over here. Here it is. So we found my new dad. And they had to hide here for almost two years. And here like was his father's factory. So they had to go upstairs and hide inside here. Thank you to God that that doesn't exist anymore. We're safe from that. I hope you enjoy this. Bye.